Welcome to the GloveSA tutorial on annual diagnosis. The overview tutorial introduced you to the GloveStrat's user interface and the decision-making tutorial initiated you to the annual decision-making process. This tutorial is devoted to the information that you will analyze each year and will allow you to make a good strategy diagnosis before proceeding to the decision of the year. This is the menu of the home page of the simulation, which is currently in year 5, in order to visualize some historical graphs. In particular, we are interested in three tabs. First one, performance tab, which shows the result of the previous year. Second one, competition tab, that displays the results of your company and competitors compared via a number of factors allowing for benchmarking. The third and final one, Intelligence tabs, which present information on the competition which become payable after year one. We recommend that you begin with analyzing the data of the competition tab which compares your results with those of your competitors. This will allow you to benchmark your performance against your competitors one. From the marketing page, you will be able to compare the turnover of the various companies in the various markets and potentially discover new entrants. The sales page will allow you to analyze the market share achieved by each competitor in each market segment or globally on the graphs. The innovation page displays all the new products developed by all competitors in a tabular format. The life cycles and generations of products are displayed in graphs. The Innovation Intelligence tab will display which competitors has developed which new products for 20 k dollar. The Differentiation page will allow you to access three graphs which compares your competitors based on customer proximity and quality of service, product quality, ISO 9000 certification and sustainable development ISO 14000 certifications. The social page displays the evolution of the workforce and corporate social responsibility index of the competitors. The finance page displays the evolution of global turnover and the profits of each competitors. Several financial ratio can be found below the graphs. The last tab displays current competitor shell value along with their history. The overall winner, the one with the best final share value, will probably be one of the previous leaders. The appendix titled Graphs allows you to view the actual evolution of the markets. This data should allow you to make your first strategic diagnosis to which more depth can be added it by conducting a detailed analysis of your performances, like the results of your previous year. In Global Sales, you are able to analyze the evolution of sales in the global market and the market forecast for the following year. Compare the sales goals you set in the previous year to your actual sales achieved. Analyze the gap. Diagnosing the main cause of these deviations is imperative to correct your mistakes. In this case, the analysis of sales in the US market where the gap is the greatest would probably be appropriate. Looking at the innovation tab, it is interesting to see which new product you have developed, second, third or fourth generation, as well as which ISU certification you have obtained. 9,000 or 14,000. The two requirements are displayed in gray and the achievements is indicated by a star. The Human Resources tab shows the distribution of your employees across the different categories of personal, technical, commercial or administrative, in addition to the CSR index of each category, the current level of wages compared at base 100, and the corresponding payroll. Finally, your profit loss account shows the turnover achieved, first row, as well as the net profit, last row. 
analyze this structure and its evolution. The cost analysis page displays your net profit margin per product, which is 6% initially, as well as the details of unit costs. A new column is added to this table for each new product marketed. Finally, the balance sheet of your company is presented as a column, with the first line displaying the cash you have accumulated during the previous year, which is available for investment. On the asset side, you'll find your pending transactions due to consumer payment deadlines, in addition to your net fixed asset and net depreciation. On the liabilities side, the first line displays the potential bank of draft. Your annual net income displayed in the income statement can be found here. Total capital and retrained earnings will give you the net worth of your business. All this data will allow you to ask yourself a number of questions and refine your diagnosis. You can deepen your insights by navigating to the intelligent section. The monitoring tab offers a submenu of surveys that concern your environment and more specifically your competitors. The environment survey provides you with information on the evolution of component costs, short and long-term interest rates, as well as the cumulative inflation compared to an index of 1000 for year zero. The index is now 1002 which suggests an annual increase of 2% compared to year zero. This will persist for the duration of the simulation, an order of magnitude for annual inflation. It's up to you to adjust wages and potentially prices based on this data. The other surveys are also free for year one, but then require an expense starting in year two. It will be up to you to select and pay for tools that you consider to be beneficial in making your annual diagnosis. Note, you will have to pay every year for each updated survey, even if you have bought it in the previous year. We therefore advise you to save any pages you want to keep permanently in the format of your choice especially the ones you may need for your final activity report and the final debriefing. Marketing intelligence is certainly one of the most strategic to invest in as it will provide you with an updated forecast on the evolution and predictions of different markets and market segments annually. The expected growth of market and key factors of success by market segment can also be anticipated here. The market research displays the expected growth and the expected consumer expectations for each market segment for the next three years. First, expected growth index compared to BAS 100 in year one. Second, expected volume growth given the side of the initial market and the actual growth in previous year. Thirdly, sensitivity, base 100, to different attributes of the customer value creation. Sensitivity to selling price attractiveness, higher index means that increasing the price will destroy customer value. Sensitivity to product quality certification, higher index correlated to increased customer value from obtaining the appropriate certification, sensitivity to sustainable development certification, sensitivity to the reputation of your brand on the markets, reputation factor in your advertising policy as well as your social reputation, sensitivity to customer proximity, taking into account the market coverage of your sales office and the quality of your customer service, Sensitivity to innovation via an index of attractiveness of the different technologies which are likely to be integrated into your offer. Be aware, sensitivity does not mean elasticity. Sensitivity gives you a relative indication of the weighting and evolution of impact of each attribute on the customer value creation.
but does not give you any accurate mathematical equation on the impact of this attribute. The market research will have to be analyzed at the beginning to clarify your choice of strategy and the definition of your business model. It can be updated as many times as you wish for the price of 20k. Its coverage of three years should encourage you to update it at least once during the simulation. Note, it is reliable in establishing trends, but is imprecise when determining potential crises. The sales survey will show the positions of operating competitors in each market and market segment, the customer value of each competitor, product sold and the selling price per product, volume of sales obtained by each competitor and their market share in graph. Note that this survey is the only way to get the sales price of competitor for each year. The innovation survey displays product developed by competitors and allow you to anticipate the eventual launch of their new product, revealing which new products are developed by competitors is, without a doubt, the best way to obtain information on your competitor's strategy. The number in brackets indicate the year of product development. The HR survey gives you a comprehensive social assessment of your competitors, including employees, wages, payroll, and CSR indexes. The finance survey shows a comparison of the balance sheets of your competitors. In particular, you will find their investments, fixed assets, and their accumulated capital, equity. Finally, the customer value survey gives you the overall level of customer value of your company in each market segment in comparison to that of your competitors. However, the essential information that it delivers is the structure of consumer value in terms of price attractiveness, quality and sustainable development certification, customer proximity, innovation and reputation compared against that of the leader of each market segment. As a bonus, you will also find the structure of your share value determined by the four dimensions used by Globstrat to evaluate it. Customer value, economic value, financial value, and societal value, social and environmental. The art of strategy is primarily an art of diagnosis, followed by choice, and finalized with effective execution. It requires some time to make a good diagnosis, but it is worthwhile, even if it is very tempting to dive quickly into making the decisions. Be sure to organize and distribute the analysis between members of the team and execute in a way that quickly gets to the essentials. Learn how to share your diagnosis in order to arrive at a common strategic diagnosis and before redefining your goals and policies for the coming year. Enjoy the simulation!